Hello, and welcome to Broken Triad, a Thief 2 fan mission by Ashaktar. And, as it says, the sequel to Ominous Request. Before we get started, let's read the briefing. Arkford. Six days march northeast of the city. Far enough for me to keep a low profile. The events in and underneath Farrington Manor compelled me to leave my usual field of activity for a while. Arkford's citizens have high standards when it comes to their prosperity. Nobody asks you how you're master rich of them. Which made me fit right in. Still, I don't plan on overstaying my welcome. And after three months, I've seen about enough of this conceited town. Tonight's job will be my farewell present before I head back to the city. A stone bust called the Sleeper is currently on display in the local museum, the Harrogate. The bust is as ugly a piece of art as it is a coveted item among collectors. Instead of being a useless dust gatherer, it would serve a much better purpose if it earned me some money. So I'm going to make it mine. What makes this task interesting is the uh, elaborate security measures surrounding the sculpture. The bust sits on a pressure plate that triggers the alarm at the slightest change of weight. I signed a sculptor to create a replica of identical weight which I'm going to exchange with the original. For the time being that's the only detail I know about Harrogate's security system. Lucky for me a renowned security inspector happens to be in town and he has written a detailed report about the Harrogate's safety precautions. This report might prove useful in my endeavour. I also managed to befriend one of the museum's curators, Sheila Jennings, and persuaded her to borrow a few keys for me tonight. It's time for me to pay the museum a late visit. The quicker I finish this job, the sooner I get away from Arkford. This town is starting to give me headaches. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently... You don't miss out on anything by going on the lower difficulty levels. So my stick with hard is my usual thing. Um, but let's say the initial objectives are all the same regardless. Optional, the security inspector is currently staying in the Bathing Burrick Inn, located to steal his report. Should provide you with valuable information about the Harrogate Museum's alarm systems. Sheila Jennings, one of Harrogate's curators, has promised to get you a couple of keys to access the museum. Go visit her. Find your way into the museum and swap the sculpture, the sleeper, with your replica. Make sure to turn all the security measures around the sculpture back on once you've done the swap. This way, nobody will notice the difference for a while. After you've completed everything, go back to your apartment. Optional, try to avoid triggering any of the museum's alarm systems. Good, I'm glad it's not an instant fail on the mission if you fuck up uh, on the security, but uh, it's good that it's... It's good that it's not. it doesn't go unmarked. Um, I suppose if you fail that, you're maybe fail that, and, or maybe that gets cancelled, I don't know. Do I want to go on expert? I really don't know. I think I'll just stick with hard. I don't know what my odds are of losing lots of HP and not being able to recover it again. I don't start with very much. Two rope arrows, three waters, one flash bomb. 700, and I'm gonna need one of those for sure. Probably want one of those. Can't afford that. Can't af Oh, moss. It's a museum, they're gonna have fat tile floors, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need moss, right? Ah, this is such a stingy start. Want more wood arrows than that? Sure, I don't need a flash bomb if I don't get caught, or if I'm good at running away. Be able to hit two moss arrows and four more waters. I mean, I, I don't know if I can use wood arrows in the museum, honestly. So maybe that's a waste. We'll see. We'll see. At least that gives me, a, if there's crucial tile places, that gives me an option or two. And maybe we can find more around town. What's this? Okay, Public Museum, Temporary Exhibition, Central Hall, Life and Death. Central Hall, Upper Main Gallery, Music, Exotic Instruments. Central Hall, Upper Western Gallery, Fine Art, Spiral Art Collection. Central Hall, Upper Eastern Gallery, History, Battle of Widow's Tear. Permanent Exhibitions, West Wing, Seafaring, Exploring the Waters, Basement, 
Zoology, Mysterious Creatures, Basement, Anthropology, Precursor Culture, Entry, 50 Gold. Wow, those tickets are not cheap. Creepy. Guess that's my replica, right? The Arkford Observer. Arkford, Tuesday, December of Org. Controversial experts remain at Harrogate Museum. Director, the sleeper will not be removed. After the mysterious fainting of a museum visitor three days ago, residents now demand the removal of the sculpture of the sleeper from Harrogate's temporary exhibition. However, John Wilkerson, director and owner of the Harrogate Public Museum, does not intend to give in to this request. The lady didn't faint while watching the sculpture, but only after she had climbed the stairs to the upper floor. She should put the blame on her corset instead of jumping to irrational conclusions. The sleeper stays where it is until the temporary exhibition is changed. The sleeper, which is part of the museum's current exhibition, Life and Death, is a sinister stone figurine of an unknown artist who allegedly felt so appalled by his own creation that he dropped dead when he had finished it. Rumours are afloat that simply by seeing the sculpture, feeble individuals might lose their sanity. Mad behead are still on the loose. City Watch remains clueless. For two weeks now, Arkford has been afflicted by a series of gruesome murders. Since the first discovery of a street beggar's headless body, there have been three more reported victims. It is feared there are more to come. In a brief interview with the Arkford Observer, Sergeant Billings of the City Watch stated, The murderer seems to pick his victims at random. Each of them gets their head cut off with a sharp weapon like an axe or sword, and the killer only leaves the rest of the body for us to find. Anonymous sources also claim that the Mad Beheader, as the murderer has been recently nicknamed, carves strange symbols into his victim's chests. Citizens are directed to stay inside during the night and keep the houses locked at all times. The City Watch has been instructed to stop and question anyone suspicious walking in the streets after nightfall. A gem that says more than a thousand words! A hilarious jewels. New owner. A grand reopening. Well, that's all we get from there. So, Life and Death is the central hall, so we're not going to be able to miss the uh, exhibition, that's for sure. Alright, where's our replica? It's a fake. Take it with us. Fancy swords, but I got mine. Oh, torn up pieces of paper. What was I? What did I rip up and burn in the fire here? Some odd detail. Interesting. I'm gonna test something here. Can I grab this if I put the fire out. No. I'm just curious, you know, why I don't want to waste the water for that then. <laughs> the hole in the quickest. Turn the light, lights off. Um, and I guess we go. Do I have a map of the place? Oh, I do have a map. Where am I? Here, maybe. No, that's the sewer entrance. Oh, here. Maybe we can find more equipment around the street before we enter the museum. Security inspector, we need to go there. Museum director's house, they've surely got some, some good stuff. Not sure why other oh, sewer entrances all around there, okay. Maybe good for getting to uh, Fila's place. All the pages are empty. No, really. All of them. <laughs> Odd, strange detail. Ah, another water arrow and some more moss. That's that's handy. I do have some equipment stashed away. Quite glad of that. Meet it. How many was that? Eight waters. Four moss. That's good. Four mosses gives me an opportunity to... Um, Use them a little more with a little less care. Did I see something before there? I did not. Oh, I didn't the door not the light. Okay. Uh, Fit, I'm coming for you. Alright. Let's go for the security inspector first, I think. Um Oh, no, actually, the museum director's place is pretty close. 
if we just head west, we should get there pretty quickly. I guess we're starting in here. Then we can swing around this way. I don't know why all this is here. Maybe just we could get some more bagels. Neighbors' doors do not. What? Um. Uh. Change of plan, I think. What was that? It's a very good question. Market Alley, okay. Hope this music doesn't end up getting the recording flag, that would be unfortunate. This feels like it's gonna be ambience for most of the thing. Hello, sir. You weren't bothered by me because who am I hearing here? this house? I don't know. It's... Is it this place or is it this one? Quite, quite dark. Quite dark. Another flash bomb. That's appreciated since it couldn't... Oh, wow, the city actually looks pretty nice from up here. We don't zoom in too closely. Another rope arrow? <laughs> Nothing hiding in the barrel for me. That's some nice equipment to be lying around. Thank you, kind stranger. You uh, left that door unlocked. This is the museum director's house, right? I thought you had a purse, and then I thought you didn't, and then I thought you did again. What was that? Yeah. Mm, nothing, I guess. Oh well. into my face again, aren't I? Yep. Yeah, it's special. Alright. 
Yeah, no auto maps is not telling us where we are, but we're just coming to this house, so. Don't know if anybody's home. God, I thought I was on carpet there. Oh, I can just pick the locks of the safe. Okay. <sighs> Cheap. Cheap crap. Looks nice until you pick it up and look at it closely and then you realise it's just... Hello, what's all this about? Flowers. To Elaine, my dear wife, whose patience is beyond words. Come next year, you shall no more be married to a museum's director, but to a full-time husband. This, I promise. Love, John. Okay, that feels very much like a... Uh, uh, a note for a real-world person putting it up with somebody spending a lot of time making this mission. Museum Director's house has got nothing of value in it. I mean, I suppose it was the wine, but... Nothing, no information of, of, of any use? This is... Seems quite odd to me. I guess that's Elaine there. It's not in a way. Alright. Well, I thought this would be a useful place to come before hitting the museum. It hasn't been worthless, but it has not been of particular value. Now we know the guard comes around from there. Alright. Um, I guess I should probably just mark off where I've been. I don't know, that's hard to say. Because uh, we came around here, I haven't been along this street here. I guess we could go visit Sheila. Hmm. So his house has got a bridge over to this side. Which is, I mean, it's a really nice house, I like it. So where's the guard? He comes from here and he's going to be on, coming pretty soon, I should think. Yeah, there he is. I'll wait for him to pass, and then we'll head head down that street. Despite the snows, you know, nice and warm here with this dark cloak and hood. So here's something to say about the mission. <laughs> They've customized the health bar, which is cool. The health bar reads as a health bar regardless. And they have not customized the light gem, which I appreciate greatly. Alright, so this is this middle street. We have some doors. Please, no cops turn up. It's pretty brightly lit here. in here or outside? 
Um, which house is this? This has got to be this one. Right? There's a door there, there's a door there. I mean, I'm using X's, they have got X's. As a first outpost in this town, these premises will certainly be sufficient. It is no white cathedral, but there is enough space for a small seminary. The majority of Arford's citizens seem to be dissatisfied with the hammerites, which can only be to our benefit. The sooner this town starts hearing from us, the better. Father Karras will be pleased. So I'm hearing R from outside, which means that door is not blocking as much sound as I would like. Hmm, you know what? I think I should see what's upstairs. Or up on those upper ledges. Candlestick. If I drop now, it feels like they're going to hear me. Wait till their footsteps have faded. <laughs> Nothing up here either. Oh, suddenly there's a lot of people outside. Okay, so unless there's some something hidden with these code books, this mechanism seminary is annoyingly devoid of valuables. Well, would be seminary. with pictures of doorknobs on them. Alright, so I'm here on this on this corner. Um I guess let's let's go out the museum, let's head down this way. You can see we can And uh, get spotted by too many guards. Okay, well, at least they're not. Where's an archer? At least they're not too twitchy tonight. No arrows I can steal. Stay out in the open. Saint Bernard, protecting the city of Arthur with his blessed hand. Okay. Doesn't look like a dog to me. There's the sewer entrance. Oh, right. So the gate there. So the only way I'm going to get into this section is through the sewer. This is Sheila's. Is going on in here, but uh... Sheila, do you have keys for me? I have a bad feeling about this. Missing a head. <laughs> Why 
Well, you know, she promised me some keys. Does she have the keys here? You know, I mean, it's perhaps insensitive of me to focus on the task at hand, but uh, I'm a thief, not a not a cop. There we are, museum back door key. A letter? Garrett, I know I promised to have the museum keys today, but most of them are simply out of my reach. At least I managed to nick the back door key. You only need to find a way into the cemetery and you'll be inside the museum. As for the remaining keys, I found another solution. It appears that Yarwick, the locksmith responsible for most of the unpickable locks in Harrogate, secretly keeps a skeleton key in his shop. It'll allow you to open any of Yarwick's doors, easily recognisable by their green copper handles. While studying some of the old city plans, I discovered that there are catacombs of forgotten tunnels underneath Arkford streets which connect many buildings. The tunnels were meant for soldiers to move unseen in case of invasions, but they've never been used. To our luck, one of those tunnels connects the city watch station with Yarwick's shop. I found a gullible enough guard, Ned, who let me into the station unseen. I told him some wild story about treasures hidden underground and rivals who want to beat me to the punch by spying on me. If you give me another day, I'll go and get the skeleton key for you. Sheila. Well, I'm guessing you're not going to get the skeleton key, and I wonder... Oh, hello. Ned's letter? Dear Miss Jennings, I'll be in the watchtower tonight and keep an eye on your museum officer's window. When you give me the signal, I'll unlock the back door and send the other watchman of me shift outside for a break, so you can come in unseen. Most likely they'll take me a while to get rid of them all, especially Jorick, can be a stubborn oaf when he's at the equipment store, so please give me a moment or two. The entrance to the war tunnel is in the last cell. Look for a small switch above eye level at the back of the stone arch next to the cell. Ned. Yes, I burned your note during my outside patrol like you told me to. Okay. Signal from her office. Well. We might want that museum key, but we're going to have to get to her office first, I guess. Oh, that skeleton key. So let's see. Watchtower, signal, unlock the back door, send the other watchman outside. Yeah, hmm. Feels like something that's more is going to be going on. Now, Yarwick's doors, are some of the doors in the museum Yarwick's? If so, that feels like I need to do that. Um, right, so her, her office must be here, looking out over this. Where would the museum back door be? Up here? Surely this court is the front entrance? I don't know, maybe that's the front entrance. All right. Hello, a city watch. There's been another murder. Uh, no, it wasn't me. I had nothing to do with it. I guess I'm not going down to Bell's Court then. Is this, this? Hello? It looks rather like it might be hiding something. There is wood up there, isn't there? It looks like a piece of wood. What am I doing this for? St. Bernard is hiding valuables for me. Well, that's 
not bad. You know what, I should probably... Uh, well, stay out of sight. With his hand, yes. Right, which way am I going then? If this is this, this guards right there, right? Which means I'm probably not. I can I can have a look. Will I be able to get past them at all? Hmm. If they turn away from me, is broken. These fancy gadgets around here, I can't get a simple hmm. seeing things. If they turn away from me, I could Third go. time the shift. Nah, he's, he's not turning away. He's doing the opposite. All right then. Uh, I guess I'm coming around this way. We need to get to the security inspector's place anyway, so let's go. Is that the cemetery? Oh yes, that's the cemetery with the back door. Oh, hopefully he won't see me here. Silhouetted against all that snow. Delahay Crematorium. It's got a handle and everything. But it does not open. Uh, what's up here then? Like oh, is this where I started? No. Hmm. Well, a stagnant fountain to produce water crystals. <laughs> I'm happy enough for. Wow, imagine being one of the neighbors of this place. It's such a loud home. Keep you awake all night. Hello, what's this? Mr. Walston, I tried to talk to you in person, but you wouldn't answer the door. With this letter, I'd like to make you once again aware of the disturbances your inventions are causing in the neighborhood. Since you decided to let your machines run running day and night without asking anybody for permission, I might add. The air in my house is charged with electricity. Lights go on and off all by themselves. Each time I try taking a bath, I receive periodical shocks. And worst of all, my hair defies gravity in any brushing attempts. Whatever you were doing up there, I ask that you shut down your machinery immediately. I've already informed the City Watch and they promised me to look into it if you don't follow my request within the next 24 hours. Lisa Wigglesworth. Uh, and uh, Lisa Wigglesworth. Wigglesworth somehow has the voice of a um, an upset nobleman. Well, his lift isn't uh, very functional, is it? What about this one? Well, it looks like it should be functional enough. Man inventor, what's this note? Personal notes. 
tested Mars and suggested setting it on prototype today. Efficiency of solar reception went slightly down, while lunar reception improved at an astonishing rate. Keeping spectral receptor active also during nighttime seems reasonable. Going to recommend, recommend adjustments to Director Wilkerson. Must locate Martin and ask how he calculated these figures. He claimed to have come all the way from the city just to visit me, and he even knew I had based the receptor on precursor technology. Evidently, my reputation precedes me. Why is the chair not? University of Spectrum. Okay, well, we're going to need a key to get in there. Unless that key is hidden in this room. Somewhere where I can find it. And, uh... We have to find this inventor elsewhere and come back. I mean, I don't know why I'd want to turn this off, right? It's just, uh... So this is the inventor. Need a key. Perhaps he has something to do with the security measures at the uh, museum? I don't know. Just a wild guess. No footsteps to be heard. Is there any? Is there anything in here? I didn't really, didn't really look, but it doesn't look like it could get up there. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to use a rope or anything. What's going on in this little courtyard? It's odd. Oh. <laughs> ah, this would be uh, our neighborhood. Lady of the electricity. Look into that. Actually, open the door while trying to turn the lights off. That's the room lights, I don't want that. Can we sneak past without her seeing? on the floor. <sighs> you know the valuables in here, miss? Yeah. Alright. Sleep well. Looks like a nice vase, but it's not. Not worth the stealing. So, I'm not going to go climb in the bath. Surely that'll give me electric shock, right? I'm gonna quick save, I'm gonna try it because I wanna see if they actually did that. Ah, shame. <laughs> I would totally have put a uh, magic zap stim on that water. Just for just for a laugh. Harold Barstow, blacksmith and sculptor. Is this, is this who we got to? Okay. So looks okay. A key there. Barstow, sculptor. No spell. Sculptor. Hard to read, but I don't have to do. We don't have any other notes pages, so. We need a sculpture, we know where to come. Hello. No, nothing there. Alright. So 
that wasn't where we need to go. We're coming now down back down large lane. I do wonder what's up with the Hammerite Cathedral over there, but uh Focus on the mission at hand, I think. So these sewers may get us through to here. I don't know why I need to. That's where we need to get to. Although I guess the skeleton key may be necessary for... Uh... Oh! Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Then the thought struck me. not a green handle. Was this from the green handle? Let's say the uh, green copper handles. I mean you would think being the handles made of copper. Aha. So we can get in here with a skeleton key. Okay that's good to know. So I should probably change my annotation on that then. Whoops, no, that's just not that just a needs a key. This one, let's do S. Double check again. For sure to be sure. That one is no definitely not green, okay. As I say, these tarnished copper handles is like, yes, they would tarnish green, but people are opening them all the time. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Nothing here now. Yeah. Dark spots. Don't know where I am. And be who loved the great magician. I'm trying to just find a dark spot to. Hide in. Can't you guide nap around? Where'd you come from? Okay. Spotted. Coward, face me like a man. Damn. Casino, huh? Nobody told me there was a casino here. Casino the doors are locked and need a key. So it's just if we follow the river there, we get to the sewer entrance. If we head west here, security inspectors in this house, which I can see an open window, I think. Yeah. Sorry. Smell like old meat. What the? I can't mean. I was a few days ago.
Is that his door? Might be his door. Hmm, City Watch Station is right there. Or is it going down to a basement? With roots. Dark with tree root? I don't want that. I don't know, maybe they're tasty roots. Hmm. Where was this? door here. The D for door and then we need a key in here. Will, I readjusted the valve so that one full turn of the handle should be enough to make all your guests break into a sweat. Feel free to use it if you need them to get down to the bar for a drink or two. As for those roots breaking through the basement ceiling, you probably won't get permission to cut down the tree. Dark woods are quite rare, and you don't want to have another argument with that crack brain conser conservationist legislator, Barker. I mean to change the inn's name from Boiling Burrick to Bathing Burrick because of his concern about those fine animals was bad enough. Jake. <laughs> ah. Well, I guess turn the handle, make your guests break your sweat, i.e. turn the heat up, get them down to the bar for a drink or two. Nice. <laughs> Silly <Silky>, key, well... <clears throat> don't think they're going to appreciate me coming out there. I guess the guy's in his room. Alright, well we don't need this uh, key marking anymore. Heating valve, please operate with caution. I'm not going to do that just yet. I want to know what I'm doing and where, where I'm going. I could climb up those crates and things. Still not suspicious, right? I hope. And from there, maybe get on top of this place. Try and get in the open window. Although, okay. you know what? Let's go turn the valve. If he is in his room, that'll get him out of it. Hopefully, because. I believe you. That's why I'm uh, being a little cautious up here. Hello, what is this area to my left? To the west. Ah, that might be a back way to the cemetery. No, it's only. Oh no, that's beside the museum. We've got an intruder around. 
Look out. Ugh. Tell him about me. They don't even saw me. The truth is looking down at you and laughing, you know? Fight me, you coward! Oh, don't tell all- How many guards are they here? They're gonna all get spooked? That would be a nuisance. Alright, probably not. It's quite bright there by the window, that's why I'm waiting until I'm not gonna get seen and turned into a pink cushion. Okay, I think it's my moment now. Oh, what? Probably just the wind. Ring? Right, this would not be the security inspector's room, I guess. Room closet. Convenient for us. Well, I'm glad I turned the valve on first because it would be definitely annoying to have to go back along the wall and then. Abandoning your post. Is he the security inspector or is he guarding the security inspector? I saw something. Hmm, I guess it was nothing. What do I see there? Be gone with you, lout! No. You went to bed. So you're tired of inspecting the security, alright. To see your report. Better check my map. Yeah, well, hang on a second. Better turn the lights off as well. All right. Security report. Subject: Harrogate Public Museum, Arkford. Inspector Edmund Swan. Recommended for burglar proof reward. The building. Harrogate used to be a Hammerite church until it was closed down. Shortly after, bought up by William and Lisa Harrogate. The building underwent heavy remodelling, although some rooms and hallways couldn't be changed due to constructional issues. There used to be access tunnels to Arkford's old catacombs, but these had been walled off long before the church was renovated. What remains is the old cemetery in the backyard, which is not accessible by the public. Plans to relocate the graves are currently on hold for reasons not relevant for this report. Guard personnel. Security guards patrol the museum around the clock, their numbers being significantly increased during closing hours. The building's narrow corridors provide nearly no hiding space for potential thieves, and the patrol routes represent a very tight security network. Alarm buttons are placed at strategic locations, and their activation not only alerts the entire guard personnel, but signals the nearby city watch station as well. Security systems. The Harrogate is equipped with an impressive amount of security measures, most prominently the energy field in the central hall, which is currently protecting the sleeper sculpture during night time. Its energy source, a collector on the roof of the museum, is completely independent of Arkford's power supply, as it draws energy from the sun and moonlight. Even if an intruder managed to manually shut down the spectral receptor, which requires deactivating both the machinery on the roof and in the basement, an additional security measure would sound the alarm immediately. Four blue rays are orthogonally arranged around the energy field, but cannot penetrate it as long as it is operational. If the energy field disappears with the blue ray still active, the alarm is triggered. The museum's director, John Wilkinson, is the only person who is authorised to deactivate the security rays. Maintenance. Because of the very advanced technology present in Harrogate's security system, its inventor, George Bolston, came up with a unique way to maintain his installations without the need of specially trained staff. Small insect-like machines navigate through the museum's air ducts and perform regular checkups. Such a machine receives instructions through a car that has holes punched in it and is able to find its destination automatically as long as its path is unobstructed. 
This system also minimizes the time security components are deactivated during maintenance. Right, so we got a map of the uh, base as a place as well. Basement. The anthropology and zoology expeditions, the energy transformer, control room, storage. Harrogate Public Museum, floor plan, status after renovation commissioned by W and L Harrogate. Security installations supervised by G. Bolton. All rights reserved. Floor 1, F maintenance room, seafaring, central hall, office. Ah, the office must be where the signal is done for the city of watch, if we need to get into those tunnels. Floor 2, or maybe this office, I don't know. Floor 3, or perhaps even this office. Spectral Receptor, Eastern Attic, Director's Office. Okay. Where is our guard friend just ready to come back from his... Having his drink yet? Uh, I don't know if people down here are going to be hostile to me. I mean, it's hard, right? Lady Milton's Albert Ward, Inspector Edmund Swan, and bodyguard. <laughs> Seem to only have cheap wine here, anyway. My plan. That's. Is that the back door? That's a basement door. That's the cemetery. What did her mess her letter say? You need to find a way into the cemetery. Okay, so that's not the back door then. Can't get into the cemetery from here. And if I drop down there, I'm gonna have to get past that guard to get out, surely. Unless that is the back door. I mean, that's here. I wrote B there, but I don't know where the back door actually is. Alternatively, you can try exploring these sewers. I don't know. I don't really have, feel like I have a good plan. I don't feel like I'm quite ready to attack the museum yet, but also don't see anything else to be done. What I'm going to do is uh, end the episode right here. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll join me soon for the next one.